Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more exclusive content. Jason, Leon, Pierre, here to bring you guys another episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Man, it's time, man. We got Jason back. We didn't do a Keepers. It's been a long time since we've done a Keepers, Sleepers, Weepers. A couple of weeks. A mm-hmm. couple of weeks. Now we're back. So let's get into it, fellas. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's do it. <sighs> uh, December's the month. But August brought the weeper. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened. We Did you practice August. that line all day? No, I used to think of it all day. I He's like, I got up. the wittiest line for this weeper. <laughs> Actually, Glad to have you back. watching this. No, it'll still be December when people watch this one. Yeah, yeah it will be. be. It'll be December thirty first. Right. Oh, so this is a New Year's Eve edition. Okay. Yeah. Um, hopefully they will leave this hat in uh, last year. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just just rough, man. I don't know. We haven't seen him in a while, and then to come back to this is is pretty rough. So I hope they uh, figure it out. What is it? Is there a hook to this or something? Or I have no idea. <laughs> There's no, no idea. Washington Redskins colors. I don't understand. No. It. Like no. just in the bird. I, I don't know. Then the blue. Is- I mean. There's got to be a hook because I can't imagine somebody came up with this just out of the blue on their own. The patch was crazy too. So the patch was the All Star game. They left everything the same except for the Batterman. They made it to like this yeah. gold and wine color. This Bergen. I don't know. Yeah. Just... Wait, hold on. All right. So the Orioles, the letter. And the Mets is the jacket. American okay. sitcoms. The letter. The letter in royal blue. Hold on. I thought we left bad hooks in 2022. Uh, August. Is it a Seinfeld hook? It might be right. The letter. Oh, and the jacket. So the color is the Seinfeld logo, and it's an Orioles hat because that's what Elaine was wearing. Oh, I think I remember hearing about the yeah. stupid stuff. So the jacket is the Seinfeld jacket that Larry David was gifted when he left, or something. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the color of this hat is the Seinfeld logo colors. It's because uh, Elaine wore a uh, uh, Baltimore hat to a Yankee game or some stupid thing like yes. that. Yes. Yep. <sighs> wow. Uh, yeah. It just made it more of a weeper for me. Yeah. <laughs> and when you guys are out partying tonight, don't get too drunk and go buy a, one of our weepers we show here. Here's a, here's a, here's a trick, right? Like if you want to hook a hat to like. A, a store, I mean, like a, like a show or a movie or whatever, just retro the hat that they wore. That's all you How about do. this? How about this? Don't do it. Like, you could do it. Like, if you just, just bring back the like hat, this. the hat that Elaine wore and call it the Elaine, way better than this. Yeah, I'd agree right? with that. What, what did she wear? She wore a hat. She wore, she wore like a, a ball. This, yeah, this, this logo on a black hat is a not, you know. So just yeah. bring back the hat she wore, call it the Elaine, boom. Because even if you don't know the hook, it's still a good hat. This she hat is a bad hook it. and a bad hat. I saw. I was just looking at the comments. A lot of people in the comments were like, "Oh, I like the hat." These are just friends of these people. It's got to be like, who would like yeah. this hat? Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't either. All right, let's move on. All right, I don't like this. Of course, you, for- picked the, you picked the Chiefs as a Raiders <laughs> fan, right? Three reasons. I don't like this hat. One, this fucking pinstripes on an NFL hat makes absolutely no sense. Mm-hmm. Like we said during the show, pinstripes in baseball, yes. Pinstripes in basketball, yes. But in the history of all football uniforms ever, find me a pinstripe uniform. Challenge accepted. There might be one. There, there might be one, but probably Back in the day. before they even wore helmets. Yeah. So, 
Number two, I just really don't like this red with this black and white pinstripe. I don't know what it is. Like, it just doesn't look right. Mm. And number three, fuck the Chiefs. Mm. Fair enough. All right. That was poignant. Thank you, Jason, mm -hmm. for your uh, yep. I did. Pra I did practice that all day. So, and you, and you nailed it. You fucking Thanks. nailed it. Thanks. Perfect. All right. My weeper of the week. Listen, man, I love Butterfly. I really do. I mean, I don't know what to say. I, I've, already, I've already said what I need to say about this hat. I, it's, I mean, for lack of a better word, this is, I'll, I'll use two words, fucking ugly. Poppy this is out. ugly. Huh? <laughs> Poppy Capsule out like that. I love Poppy. He, he, likes, I love he likes all Mets hats. So. I love I love that guy, but like this hat and Poppy. I know you're probably watching. I love you. I hate this hat. This hat is an eyesore to say the least. I'm gonna go against the grain here. Well, God, and say I don't mind the logo, but like. Okay. You take the side patch off of it and make it a mono or a sneaky two tone, and I might be able to get behind it. But I, yeah, I don't like that like chrome visor and the architectural side patch. No, I'm with you, Jason. This thing uh, needs to be sent into outer space immediately. Let's move <laughs> on to our sleepers of the week. So, twofold. Mm -hmm. They got a BOGO sale going on right now. I got two of these hats, $67 shipped. Nice. Not arguing with it. So I purchased the the two top ones. I was on the fence about the gray. You don't I was like even gray considering, I was I was also considering buying a fourth hat just to, you know, buy four, get two free. But I, Bogo, I, I held it to two. Yeah, I held it to two. Uh, this logo has gone too, by the way. And most of these hats... They're not complete full size runs, but I checked all four styles. Have the majority of the sizes available. So, nice. Bogo, buy one get one free. I think I know Jason's also, favorite. Also, the <laughs> the logo is vaulted. At least for now, you cannot use this logo anymore, and you get to support my threads. So that's my sleeper of the week. Nice. Hmm. Very good, Leon. Way, way to uh, way to inform our viewers of a fantabulous sale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the people. For the people. Ecap City did not make the weeper section this week's show. Um, I just love the simplicity of this hat. Um, a green bottom, no batterman, no side patch. It's a big block logo on the front. Saw looking hat. Would be on the way here if uh, Ecap City charged a decent price for their hats. The days of uh, six, just throwing shit up there for sixty bucks and it selling out are over. Let's let's get back to a reasonable price because I'm not paying seventy dollars shipped for this hat. That's ridiculous. Plain Jane too, right? I you know the plain Jane versus side patch price difference that doesn't bother me, but when you start out at fifty nine ninety nine, yeah. adding shipping and taxes, it's it's not worth it. No man, it's not. And maybe that's why this is sleeping, but. It's probably because it doesn't have a side patch, honestly. But still, I think it's clean looking, clean looking hat. Classic too. Mm -hmm. Pick, good pick. All right. Yeah, my sleeper. I went with Leon's little drillers hat here. I think this is a really good hat. I, Leon, I think there. I think when I checked, they were there wasn't a single size sold out. Crazy. Um, Did yeah, you add them to your cart? Because they have that that website that looks like everything's there. They don't gray it out. You have to like check the size. You have to you have to yeah hit so the actual size. Um, I don't know. I I mean I could check it, but when I was looking, it looked like they were all still there. This is a good ass it's fucking possible. hat. It's possible. It's a good hat, man. This this is not just a good hat. This is a great hat. This thing is clean. I love the colors. It's got the metallics in there. This is a beautiful hat. So for me. Um, if you have the opportunity to head over to uh, the Pro Image site, um, I would pick one of these up because this is a classic. This is nice and clean. 
Good job, Leon. Beautiful hat. I do not like the other drillers you did, but this one is is <laughs> with that perverted baseball fucking guy. What I do. Like this hat's a fucking great hat, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great hat. It's a good hat. All right. Moving forward. Uh, I got one of your hats here. So um, the NOLA Topper Store USA. Um, I like it for the the fact that I guess they unlocked the baby cakes again. So that's a cool like set of logos we could use again. I've never seen that side patch. Um, you got the Mardi Gras kind of colors, LSU, uh, purple and gold. I don't know. It just hits all the marks uh, for me. I think it's a slick hat. Uh, beautiful city. Been there twice for uh, two different bachelor parties for my friends. Um, beautiful hat. Nice. Thank you, Leon. Second keeper of the week. Um, Jason had me doubting if this was a restock or not. Regardless, I think it's a solid hat. Um, 1985 All Star Game side patch year I was born, so it gets a little bit extra points for me. Something about the black and white off the uh, real tree it makes it look real smooth to me. And then two tone with the black. Uh, I think I think uh, Capanova um, did a cool thing. Um, I was talking about uh, real tree in the winter with Pierre and he says it sells all throughout the year. So it don't even matter. So I think they did a great job. I mean, real tree lasted way longer than any of us thought it would. I thought mm -hmm. it'd be dead by now. I mean, it's not as popular. You've got to do sure. really good shit with it to make it work. But mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, it kept trucking along, man. Yeah. yeah. I think the variance is like the cool thing. The coolest thing about it. Like each one is completely different. Yeah, I think it adds an element of collectability too for some people. Like, oh, this one has three real tree. I know it's annoying to hear sometimes. I don't care mm. about that, but you, but it does yeah. add to it. The stamp, yeah. gotta get the yeah, stamp. Yeah, it's almost like opening a pack of baseball cards if you order one of these. Now, right? You're like, all right, oh right. look, I have three stamps on my hat. It's like it does add a cool element to it. I do, I do agree with that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what Jason picks. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people are scared of wearing Paisley. Not me. I got no problem with it here in the middle of America. And this 49ers saloon logo is, I'm just going to say it, the best NFL logo out there. I agree. I best logo, even. Not even just best the best. NFL best NFL logo. logo. Wow. Best NFL logo. Yep. I, agree with, I agree with that statement. Okay. I love it. And plus with the, the metallic gold on here, this is just all around. Great, awesome. great logo. I love that logo. As a Raider fan, would you wear this? Uh, it's it's should be at my doorstep by the time oh. this thing airs. So. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I, I I just won't wear Chiefs or Broncos or Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. But most other NFL teams, that yeah, I don't mind wearing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Especially with my Raiders being so dominant as they are lately. So. <laughs> right. I don't know if I can say that, but uh, speaking of great logos, uh, this is the best hockey logo I've ever seen. Came out nice, man. Yep. It is. I'm not a fan of the guy on the side, <laughs> but the front one, yeah. The. the Oh, the the griff the actual yeah the griff. griffin itself. I'm not a fan yeah. of, but that script yeah. I love. That script is fantastic. Yeah, it's fucking. It's it's perfectly symmetrical. It looks great. It just it, even it even the little highlights on the bottom kind of look like teeth. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Although a griffin technically wouldn't have teeth, so maybe I would say more talons. Talons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. actually, they don't have talons. They would have claws because they got claws. feet of the lion, right? So could be like the bottom oh, yeah, of a true. lion, maybe you're looking yeah. at it horizontally. E maybe. Either way, it's a great looking logo. Yeah, I love the way this came out. And you and you picked this even though it's a chrome dome. That's saying a lot. I, I know I almost didn't pick it because it was a chrome dome, but I, the logo is just too great to pass up on. Yeah, I love it. All right. Is this Thank satin you. brim? Yeah, we did blue oh, satin. This is like a like a jersey almost. It could be a perfect match to it, like a really. That's why we did it with some of the AHL and the uh, draft pack. Yeah, give it a jersey feel. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Sweet. Good shit. All right. 
All right, my first mm-hmm. keeper comes from Riante in home game. This uh, method man um, hook is is one of my favorite Yankee hats of the year. Um, and I'm not a Yankee guy. I am by no means a Yankee guy. But this hat is very well done. I love it. Nice and clean and simple and to the point. This is getting across the message while still making a very nice wearable hat. So that's my first keeper of the week from uh, home game in collaboration with Riance. And my second keeper of the week is friends, man. Listen, I've had a rough couple of weeks, man, listening to a lot of bullshit, right? But I'm going to tell you guys right now, what's kept me together is my family and friends because, you know, for every down moment I have in life, there's always someone that picks me up and it's either a friend or a family member. So my keeper of the week is just, is just my friends and my family, man. I know it sounds weird because it's supposed to be about hats, but I don't know everything that I go through in life. Um, I always stay positive and motivated, but it's always a friend or a family member that helps pick me up a little bit and give me that extra motivation. So I want to give a special thank you to all the friends I have in my life, all the family members in my life and the positive people in the community that um, understand what I'm here to try to do and what I'm here to try to provide. I want to thank all of you um, because for every naysayer, there's 10 promoters that I just love. So I just want to make sure that, um, you know, sometimes when we get in these spaces where there's controversy or there's or there's um, hate or there's bullshit going on, right? You always focus on that part of it, but you ne- you always seem to forget those people that are supporting you and backing you up through all those things. So I want to take that time, this time, to just thank all of those people that have been supportive and helpful. Um and while I don't, I, I while I don't need a ton of like motivation because I kind of I'm kind of wired that way. It does feel really good to have some folks sometimes chime in and say something positive. It makes you feel good again. So I want to thank you um, uh, to all my friends and family, including Jason, Leon, Snap, and all kinds of other people in the community um, that stay super positive and supportive and. And always uh, lend, uh, you know, they, they usually provide me with some sort of kind words that make me uh, make me understand why this is all worth it. So I want to thank you all. And um, that, my friends, brings this episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers uh, to a close. Do you guys um, like the no. weeper I put on for this this ep- week's show? I was, I was going to ask you. I don't want to make fun of your hat, but I'm like, what the no, fuck no. are you wearing? I'm, trying, I'm, I'm going to try and wear a weeper. For every every show. What is that? Oh, it's a pink bottom, I, right? I remember. It's yeah, Evans? pink bottom. Evans did tie-dye. it. I think Evelyn's did it. Like, yeah. yeah, years ago. Shout out Evelyn's. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I, I didn't want to make fun of your hat cho- I didn't want to make fun of your hat choice. I'm like, I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> no, I no, wanted to, but it's a purpose. Toronto hat. It's a Toronto hat, <laughs> which makes it. I'm kind of jealous. Weepy. I don't have. I don't have that hat. Listen, well, I'm wearing the first G League hat that we've really officially done. Nice. nice, the Mad Ants with Fort Wayne with the Digicam man. That's a cool fucking fabric. Surprised I brought that back. Yeah, we didn't we didn't do a lot with it, but I think um, it looks good with some logos. Like this one kind of makes sense, right? Like having like mm-hmm. a like a bug on there. I don't know, but this these G League logos came out pretty good. Have they, I, have they brought the snow camo back yet? No, I mean I wish they would, man. Such you a know, good I made a list of shit I want to do on it, Jason. So hopefully it comes back. <laughs> mm-hmm. I have a, a list of stuff waiting. I have two lists, right? One is for that camo, and the other one is for um, purple velour. Ooh, oh, definitely got to do a print set for purple. Yeah, it, I, there's yeah, a couple that I want to do. A slick Rick too. And there's a lot of those those AHL logos that look pretty sick on that snow camo. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. I think there's a lot of logos that look good on Snow Camel. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. But the, but Pat and I were discussing today, like, he's, I forgot he, how it came up. He said, if you could have one more metallic thread in the catalog, what would it be? I said purple in a second. Purple. Oh, yeah. For in sure. A purple. Metallic purple. You know what else I would like, though? If I could have anything, it would be a metallic pink. Like a legit. Metallic, like hot pink or pink? pink? No, like pink. Like like not blush, but like a little bit darker, like a pink. Gotcha. That would be fucking amazing, right? Yeah. One can dream, right? Orange would be pretty cool too. Orange is too orange. close to copper, though. We talked about. Yeah. Pat, yeah. Pat said, "How about I would I want to order?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's too close to copper." You're right. It does it does come out like that? You need something that's not going to be in that same. Yeah. Definitely purple, though. That's a good one. 
purple and would be amazing. Metallic purple? Come on. Consistency yeah. in the reds. <laughs> oh, even like a metallic, metallic. even a more metallic y brown would be great. Okay. Not copper, but I'm talking like brown, like metallic brown. Mm -hmm. Metallic black is useless because it looks almost the same. As like pewter. Like no, it, black, it looks almost the same as regular black. Real, like yeah, because I actually I think yeah. this one was supposed to be, it is metallic black, but it comes out as just black. black. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like black already like shines like that. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a discussion for another day. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me this evening. Um, this is another great episode of Keepers, Sleepers, and Weepers. And with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you tag tag a friend. Since that was up here as a keeper, so tag two friends. Um, hopefully, you guys uh, have a safe and healthy new year. Wishing everyone all the best. Um, for Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're out of here. See you, everybody. Peace.